This is On The Clock with your boy Seven Fig. And Tuesday every day. I mean, we're going to have a, a great show today. We're going to be talking about some random facts, and we're going to get into some topics. I'm going to let Tuesday go ahead and give y'all the well, random Well, you facts. know what I'm saying, a random fact of the day is a small child could swim through the veins of a blue whale. Man, that's some big veins on that whale. Okay, wait a minute. You say a small child yes. can swim through the veins swim. of a blue whale. Yes. Damn. That's a huge whale. Yeah, ain't that a huge whale? Yeah, blue whale. I didn't know blue I, whales was that big yeah. enough for a whole, a whole child. child. Small, though. Small, but still Tyler, a child. though. Tyler, yes, yeah. but that's pretty big for some veins. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared. But yes, that's that's our yeah. random fact today, and that was that was what type of disease be flowing through there? Can you really see that stuff be that big? You know, like I want to see the these veins now. Like I want to Google it and ask Google a well autopsy in this joint. Basically, this is, basically. Yeah. Cause man. You and these random facts, man. Where do you be finding this stuff imagine, at? Just imagine like, like fish, like little fishes. Yeah, that's up in there. Swimming through like, the yeah. blue veins. You gotta like, worry about it. Weird. Yeah, that would be just tough. Probably, probably look like a little aquarium in there. See, well, we glad you can't right see along. that. <laughs> I don't. I don't see. That's you. Okay. <laughs> The first thing we're going to talk about, you know, it's been a big buzz. We've been talking about these Oscars and the whole yes, Jada, Pickett, yes. Janet Huber, Will Smith, and they were trying to get Chris Rock to boycott that. But I think that he shouldn't. I think he should stand and just speak on it. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you were saying that you heard a few things yes, from other um, people. Aunt Viv. I don't know. What's her real name? Janet Huber. Yes. And she's from Chicago, if you didn't know that. Oh, and she represent. Is a, she's and a also... That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, no, not a lesbian. <laughs> no, I know. That's, that's what's up. All I said was that was up, and you just think I'm talking about a lesbian. I'm just saying because I'm one. You you being no. stereotypical. No, no, it's what you said. You was like that's what's up. I mean, she's okay. I'm, now anyway, move right along. <laughs> so yes, and also Snoop Dogg had words of the, um about the Oscar. Okay, what did he say? Page. Was he high? <laughs> I don't know if the man was intoxicated, but he was just saying how, you know, he don't care about the Oscars. Not one black face is at least nominated. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, and then the next day, I guess his publicist was asking him, like, telling him to apologize Mm -hmm. and to take back what he said. And he was like, I'm not going to take that back. I meant that. You know what I'm saying? You know, for more, like, you just go on Snoop Dogg's page and actually see verbatim. But he was all for not having anything to do with the Oscars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say, like, with that, though, most of the movies that are nominated, which I can we can pull up and see, but there are no, like, I think the screenplay for Straight Outta Compton and... Um, I think concussion didn't get anything, but the movies, like I think that they need it needs to be a change of regime or regime. I'm saying with the Oscar balloting and get more diversity within right. that because they don't see all the movies. I don't think, and they don't give them a chance. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I was watching some somebody posted where Eddie Murphy said in 1984 that prior to anyone winning an Oscar beside Lou Gossett and Hattie McDaniel um, for playing Mammy and Gone in the Wind. There had been no more Oscar winners besides Sidney Poitier, and all those roles were lightweight demeaning. So even like with Denzel and Training Day and Holly Berry being, you know what I'm saying, a hurt mom uh, because her um, baby daddy was in jail and then she was having sex with a security guard. She won an Oscar for that, but she did other roles in that. I mean, right. you know, it, it, all our roles that we win are like really despicable. It's not really anything that's empowering. Yeah, of like course. That. Of course, because you think they want to show us being empowered, superior of any type of stature. Like, no. But I like how Unviv kind of flipped it around okay. by saying like um, basically we have more things we need to worry about and why is Jada speaking for Will? Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that when she wanted, when she came to Will mm-hmm. back in the day, you know, Fresh Prince, like mm-hmm. 
I feel like since you're the star, you can have leeway and having the rest of the cast make more money. And he, and he was not like, well, y'all deal is y'all deal. You figure that out. Like, he wasn't, he didn't care about black empowerment then. Mm-hmm. So she like, why are you trying to care about now? Because you're not nominated. Like, because now it's about you. You want to say something for black people when it shouldn't go like that it shouldn't be like that well i think and that people say oh she's just bitter i feel like even if she is bitter she has every right to be bitter about what happened like i would have been mad too because i i speak up for myself and i get fired and they replace me with a lighter skin complexion woman at that come on and that says something but anyway she to me she had a valid point like now that it affects you, you want to say something. Well, the flip side of that, to and me not even is, say something. Your wife did. It, it, but but if you look at sitcoms or just like TV in general, they have well, a, a situation like, like that. It's like okay, she's saying that because it got something to do with him. But if you look at society as a whole, we only we we we're we're, pro, we're not we're reactive. We're not proactive. So everybody knows that there are issues with the Oscars, yeah. and, and it touches everybody. With her saying that, she does have a point. But at this time, when it continually goes on, and year after year, no one ever says anything. I mean, if someone says it, that doesn't mean that it's right or it's just because of you. I feel like it's about time somebody says something. You know True. what I'm saying? So True. I understand both. Like, I yeah, that's what I say. It's, it's kind of being upset right. with oh, no, it's no black people there. I understand her by saying like we have bigger issues to worry about. I understand both sides. Right. You know what I'm saying? But something needs to be done. But see, with, this is the I thing. mean, every issue we have with the black anything, there's never. A resolution like nothing is ever solved. The resolution ever. is to be more creative. I would say to create an outlet for yourself, and then you have your peers judge you based on the, the stuff then, that you do. When we have our own black black awards and stuff like that, mm-hmm. like the celebrities don't even make it there. They don't Absolutely. even there because they Absolutely. don't even honor that. Honor that. They yeah. don't put that on no type of. A, a pedestal yeah. Like oh that's just nothing Like oh it's just my people giving it to me Why do we have to prove ourselves To other uh, Other races White yeah. the, Europeans the, it's Like the, why it's do the we diversity, care so much though. to be approved by them because But when our own people are showing us love We like oh whatever. I don't even care yeah. that's, that's Well bad. because the, the problem is that To me that if, if you're being paid by the dominant society you're going to have to have to stay in line of what they're saying. Like Will and all these other big actors, they get paid from these people. So they want to have the diversity and all that. But when you don't create your own narrative, of course you're going to have issues where you're going to say, well, my role was better than this or this and this and all that. When you don't control it. You Did know you what I'm saying? Will Smith accent though? Yeah. That, that accent. Yeah. I mean. I love Will Smith as an actor. But that accent, though. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. <laughs> but I, I just think that in that in that situation, he felt like like con- concussions. Okay, we, we'll go with the concussion thing. The NFL people been know about concussions in the NFL. Um, football player committed suicide, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. In some ways, the movie really doesn't hold any weight because they've already uncovered it. Most of the times when you do a movie on a, like that, you want to do something that's going to uncover something that was already there. So that's probably why I didn't get the recognition from my perspective that it deserved. You know what I mean? It, it was right. probably a good movie. Like everybody say, well, Straight out of Compton should have been that. A lot of people don't probably look at it that, but the movie was good because it told situations that we didn't really know about from their perspective. I love Straight Outta Compton. Yeah, it, was a, it was an excellent movie. And like I said, it wasn't, you know, you look at the bad end of bad business deals. Racism and, and all, and all that, that, that. That still goes on now. Yeah, like you said, like we we was taught, we saw some things that we didn't even know that was exactly. taking place. Exactly, yeah. Behind the scenes. About like stuff. Dre's brother dying, you know, and, no and, and stuff that. like that. You know, how Ice Cube and his wife said it Where by Felicia came from. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, so, I learned a lot yeah. to, from that movie. So so knowing those things, you know, people probably didn't look at, oh, that's not powerful enough. It's not this and all that. So it's always a double-edged sword when you yeah. have that. So if you don't create your own narrative, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Mm-hmm. So... We're going to get to the next topic, which is the sign of the times. This is my topic that I wanted to share um, about the Flint, Michigan water crisis, so to speak. 
It's, it, to Ooh. me, it's tragic. I mean, if you turn on so your sad. water and you got some brown water. I Do mean, you I'm, know how much we need water? Yeah. It's, your we body's need more water, water than food. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We, we could go longer without yeah, food, food than water. Yeah. So when I was hearing about this, I was devastated. You know what I'm saying? It's very tragic. Very true. And I'm just like something needs to be done, and I'm so tired of talking about something and not doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I started looking up organizations that I at least could donate little water bottles, because that's at least what I could do. True. And then when I see these celebrities doing the same thing, just more water bottles, I'm like, oh, y'all could do a little more than just some bottles of and water. And that brings me back to my whole sign of times things. I was saying to me that Flint, Michigan is for sale. And people, you say, well, what you mean by for sale? I mean, it's for sale because it's a situation where if you would come together, the Will Smiths and the Janet Hubers and the Jadas and the Snoop Dogs and all that. And we always saying as black people, we want our own. You can go in and turn that whole city around by using Damn. your money and building infrastructure where you control the water company, you control the jobs, mm-hmm. you control the schools, and you control those things where you don't have to worry about the government taking care of that. If you want to donate something, why don't you donate a water filtration plant for those people? Water bottles is only a band-aid on this situation. The water is fine, you know, for a temporary fix. Right. But why can't you go in and create a whole infrastructure where there's where there's clean, self-sustaining water, where it can also create jobs and it also can create a system that you control and you own. And then you give profit sharing to the people who stay there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I actually worked at Hinkley Springs, so I've seen reverse osmosis and how it works. It's a process, probably an expensive process, but they use but hey. our lake water and turn it into purified water. Right. So why can't it they can have happen. that this in can Flint, happen. Michigan? Like, right? Those are things that I feel like they, they drop the ball and on. And then it. the population. Oh, definitely. Majority yeah, it's, blacks. It's, it's blacks and poor people. Come on now. Yeah. So why <laughs> must this always happen to, the less, to either us or... Or the less fortunate, fortunate, like, come Absolutely. on. Like, we already got so much going on with our lives. We don't need, like, all we trying to do, when you wake up in the middle of the night, you be dying of thirst. Man, you don't want to holler at that soda. That sink water, <laughs> um, you know, when you usually drink it, it's like you're drinking from God personal see. pond. And then you turn it on and you see some filth. Yeah, that brown on, will scare the hell like, out of me. That, that's yeah. sad, because I... I, I, it breaks my heart because I know how much I love water yeah. personally. So it was I funny. don't know what I do. They're, they can't cook. They can't wash that. up. They can't use the bathroom. Like you can't even boil that water on, on the stove right now. You can't this boil that huge. water on the stove to like, get exactly, that out of there. Like exactly. my granny my and them used to do. They can't boil the water. No, no there's no brown. This water. Do yeah, you see it? Is it's just no clear in this water at all. Yeah, that's it's tragic. It's <gasps> very tragic. But but see the the thing is this. It's just like. We have opportunities to take over a situation that's been damaging for us, but we don't step up to it. And I think that's where we drop the ball at, you know, as a as a community. And I can't say that all of us, it's our job to do it. But those who have the resources, the, we, 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 well, we want our own. Or either it's either this, either you want your own or you want to be accepted by the dominant society. And then they give you what they want to give you because they'll never give you everything that you are needed. When you ask for some, you know, when you ask for something, right? You know, if you, it's like if you ask your mom or dad, they give you certain things, but they never give you everything you need. You have to get it yourself. You know what I'm saying? So why do we continually go to the same people that give us enough to get by when we have the resources and the means to do it? It just doesn't make sense to me. This is like it's very sad that a a, a city in America, <laughs> America, so to speak, that has dirty water, and this was a major city in the 50s and 60s. It was based off Flint, Michigan had uh, they, they helped with the Ford and GM plants with parts and all that. So all those jobs are gone. So there's no infrastructure there. So now we're getting the ripple effect of all those jobs leaving and then nothing else coming in to replace those things. So you might have a Walmart, a Target or something like that. But is that going to sustain a community? Are they giving back to the community? Are they going to support the schools? Are they paying property taxes without no property taxes? How are they going to pay for that water? Exactly. That's why I say the they, time. We'll be, yeah, they, they have abandoned properties and all that stuff there. So what? What? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's it's, 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 it's really a sad case. And I, I, like I said, I respect Meek Mills and Snoop and all the rest of these guys giving money. But at the end of the day, don't give money or send water bottles. Go take over the city. 
Go take over right. the city. Well, everybody want Park Place. You know, if you play Monopoly, you always want, I got to get on Park Place so I can charge the most rent. Why not buy Baltic Avenue and turn Baltic it's Avenue think into Park bigger. Place? Bigger. Yeah. You're thinking so small Super right small. Now. I'm talking about like. With a bare minimum. To me, that's the bare minimum. Like, oh, just give water. some water bottles. That's cool. I get it. That's like so a that's temporary thing. So that's how they're going to live off of water bottles for the rest? So then if you send, you send $50,000 worth of water bottles and then they still don't fix the water. So in a month, they probably ran through that that's water. That's it. That's it. It's over with. What about nursery water? For the babies. <sighs> you feel me? The like babies. Yeah, the babies. Like, what about for the old folks? You know, all that. It's like in the kids, you go to school, you can't go to the bathroom, you can't, can't do it. Who they cooking lunch, who cooking dinner? Home. Like, come on now. Like, you microwaving and hot plating everything. And some of the food you need, you need water to cook with. Mm. Everything's going to be dirty. Like, yeah, how <laughs> oh you going to like come it's on. So, Their clothes it's, are going to be yeah, filthy. Yeah, like, yeah. Every, water makes the world, world go, around, go around for real. Yes. Like, we need water. You be better out. They be better out standing in the desert. I'm trying to tell you. They be better off standing in the desert. And I hope the ones that have families out of there, they went somewhere for the time being. Yeah. Sometimes you can't just up and leave like yeah. that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You the might job, not have the resources or the job. Or yeah. Or what have you. So it's just like, oh. And how you paying taxes there, though? Like, that's the whole, that's what I want to know. Why is it going to work and then you look at your check and it says state tax XYZ percent with your water brand? So to me, I would say this: the mayor needs to be taken out. Oh yeah. The the governor don't need. He needs to go. The governor needs. That's a state of emergency. Like really? Hello. Yeah. That need. But but look, it ain't no jobs there. It is a job. It's all infrastructure. Rebuilding infrastructure it lasts for twenty some years, and then the next people come in. But we won't do that. What's wrong with solar power, wind power, water, all that? But nobody looks at it like that. But. I digress because it's to me it's touchy. It kind of upsets me because I feel like nobody's not doing what they supposed to do. They just throwing band aids at a gunshot wound, and then you bleed out. No, you can get gangrene. Got to get it cut off. Like we can't keep just throwing simple solutions at major problems, and then the infrastructure's not there. And then about two more years, well, they don't have no power in in Flint, Michigan. You know what I mean? It's like it's, it's always going to be something because there's yeah. nothing to support a, a, right. a economic base. You know what I mean? And it's always the poor people's going to catch it first. You think rich people going to stay there with dirty water? Hey, get down. Out of there. Man. Yeah, out of there. No, they, it's going to be on TV. It's, how, long, how long they probably know about that? It's not going to to them. Like, there you go. It won't get happen. out. That's not going to happen. But we're going to go on to the next one. You know, um, this year is... For all the football fans and non-football fans, the 50th anniversary of the Super Bowl. And they have, uh, since it being the 50th anniversary, they have, like, some acts that I was wondering, like, do we approve of them? Or what would be our kind of ones that we would have on there? So, currently, they have Bruno Mars, Coldplay, Adele, Beyonce, One Direction, and Adam Levine said he wants to join um, the whole thing. So, or the Super Bowl festivities if you had somebody to choose who would you choose i'm just surprised that the the ones you named for this to be the 50th anniversary mm-hmm. i kind of thought it would be more like legendary people like uh, on okay beyonce cool adele cool mm-hmm. but like coldplay and metallica and it's like i feel like it should be i don't know more 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 diversity more diversity. Well, the NFL is kind of like eighty percent black players, right? And that, I would, I would feel you have like one black act. I mean, like what was it? Two years ago, Missy Elliott turned out the Super Bowl. Like seriously, man. man what, can insane. we get that? I mean, but what performers could you get to have to represent it? To to really like, you know, if you want to do hip hop, you want to do R and B, you want to do. Pop, I mean, Michael Jackson's not here. I would think he would be, if you want to do a headliner or someone like that, mm-hmm. if he was still around, you know. Or maybe, well, the, the Janet Jackson fiasco, they probably will never invite her no more because we've seen a whole booby on TV, which I wasn't mad at. But at the end of the day, I'm, on. Just, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying it, it happened. I mean, but who else as an entertainer that, you know, that's lightweight, timeless that you can have that could be in that audience? I mean, I would say, like I like we said off air, I was like Ice Cube or, 
I mean, even Aretha Franklin, if she can get on stage, I mean, I don't know. Who, is that a joke? <laughs> it is a joke. You've seen her. She kind of <laughs> a little on the chunky side of the game. Baby. Who? <laughs> she is a little chunky. Hunt, girl. Yeah, hey, there ain't nothing wrong with her, but I'm just saying. <laughs> she a little on the chunky <laughs> side of the game. But who else would you have? Like, for my Super Bowl, I would I would go old school hip-hop, a little hard beat. I mean, I would have, like, um, guys, something like that, if Heavy D was still around, or, you know what I'm saying, or maybe Run DMC, um, NWA, well, not NWA, because I know they don't let them be on stage, but, you know, Run something DMC, like that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I, don't, I really don't know offhand. I just know it wouldn't be in the people. What about the Temptations name? if they were still alive? Because, you know, a lot well, of Of course. I feel like it should be more legendary, like. That's what I mean. Legendary like, yeah. people perform. If this is the 50th, you know. Come on now, you yeah. You got gotta it. go. You gotta go out. What yeah. a bang, man. Yeah. So I mean, I guess the Super Bowl, it's all marketing and all that. But I would think, would you would you use any current artists beside like Adele? I mean, like in hip hop or something like that. Uh-huh. Damn, it's like that. <laughs> the I only know, person I'm, I'm I'm not not really any feeling hip hop um, artists. This that gonna pain. This gonna pains me enough. to say this. What? Who? Who? For it's you? gonna pains me to say this. Future? I was Drake. I would say Drake. I can see Drake at the Super Bowl. See, that's what I'm saying. Like with him, I, I think he, his Drake music. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Nobody else. I mean, because everybody either too turn up or too conscious. You know, too yeah. controversial. So Drake is a, a nice middle. A nice middle ground. Mm-hmm. Okay, Drake. Yeah, because he's a little commercial, a little. You know, he got the little singing and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. What about on the R and B side? Who else would you go out beside like Beyonce? Like who could you see currently that you would use? And the crickets on the um, microphone. I, I can't <laughs> really think of nobody that I really enjoy their vocals. I feel like K Michelle could blow, but K Michelle as a person. Wow, so I don't think K Michelle has enough music to sustain the Super Bowl. That's what I'm saying. So I can't think of no R B No R and B artist. What about Mary J? I would J? love to see Rihanna perform. What about Mary J? I Blige? feel like Rihanna? I feel like Rihanna can put on a show. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. She can perform. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would like to see Lady Gaga perform that's a, she that's a can put one. on a show. That's a good one. What about she Madonna? Can put on a show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mad, okay. I'm just, but like, uh, but Rihanna, I think that would work because she does have a lot of commercial songs and like, you know what I'm saying, stuff that'll get people involved or turned up. So I can roll with that. Just gotta keep that um I better have my money out of there, but all the rest of that will work. Well, of course she's not gonna sing that one. She probably could. Even though, though yeah. she did her thing. Absolutely. On that, that video, the person that edited the video. Anyway, I get, what, what but, about Kanye? I just thought about him. What about him? Uh, Even though he be on some sucker I'm stuff. Tired of, I mean, you you ain't got the answer, Sway. How? <laughs> how, how, Sway? But I mean, musically, how even what song would he do? You can do Jesus Walks. Uh, he can do uh, Jesus Walks. Really. Anything up to date? You think he would? He what can't do blood on the leaves. I know that. I mean, and you know, and bound. He can't do those that, uh, songs. What's that? This he can do graduation. You know what? He can't do that, that for thing. Nike. I can't. I want to hear that. Line. No, no, they're I'm not gonna. gonna. <laughs> and look, why you saying that? Nike does sponsor the NFL. Like it's crazy. They sponsor the so NFL. So why would Kanye be there? I mean, it, it would be burning bridges. Yeah, I mean, just <laughs> invite him. You know, this is an olive branch. Just let him in there. Even though he said he jumped over the jump man, which is ridiculous. So I'm like Ridiculous Kanye, Simmer down Right Simmer, simmer down man. Cut him off Give him some of that water From Flint So he can He can <coughs> Cough up that blood Too soon <laughs> he, yeah, Too soon I'm sorry That Flint stuff Is serious <laughs> No but he, And He should Kanye, be donating You know Oh of course Kanye should have Gave back to Chicago Years ago uh, uh, But that's a whole Another story uh, Like But you know what It's hard for me To talk about issues Like this When it comes to um, my black people because I don't ever want to down one of my my own but I need them to do more and do better if at the same it's a time. layup you better take it because some of these people need to be called to the carpet if they if they have the resources and the funds and the, and the, and the ability to galvanize people and not use it properly you, you have the you have the platform it's like us on radio if we don't give the people 
something positive they can go with and inform them, then we don't need to be doing this. So I always feel like entertainers, not to say it's not their fight. We're not telling you to be a Martin Luther King or a Malcolm or none of those people. But you have the platform to change things. And music was socially conscious back then with Marvin Gaye. Music is so people. powerful. Yeah, yeah like so you can't have J. Cole, the only one, or Kendrick or somebody to right. be standing up to be saying something that's on the positive right. level when we all out here is jumping the same hurdles. You know hurdles. who else I'd like to see perform though? Janelle oh. Monae. That, she would be cool. She would be cool. Like but does she have a catalog perform. enough to, to, to sustain a Super Bowl halftime? I would like to see her perform. <laughs> but um, <laughs> before we close, before real we close. quick, real I want to hear your uh, opinion about the lottery. How did you feel about all that? I just want to say on Twitter, I thought that was hilarious when Kim was asking about the lottery and then somebody was like, stay out of broke people's business. Oh, no, I never seen that. I thought that was hilarious. I, it was a meme. Because, uh, no, it, it was, was just a tweet. tweet. It was a tweet. And I I'm swear just I like, see that. I thank you down. because this is none of your business. <laughs> like, the lottery is for us to come up. Us. And you know that people class poor you know to them. come up you because know what are you gonna do with this money? I hope you're you're giving it all away because you don't need it. This is what we're trying. We're into this. You know what I'm saying? You we're know. about to spend all our a little dollars trying to come up. Well, so all these celebrities <laughs> that was trying to do the same thing, I'm the audacity. Well, it just shows and me then who who won yeah. a upper class. But see, this is the thing though. The, an already rich person. We. I, this is my thing about the lottery. Conspiracy. The lottery shows me one thing. And what it shows me is we all say we can't organize or coalesce around anything, but the true factor of everything that we come around is money. It's sad. That's the only thing that we get up for or want to do something for and all that. But when it comes to something positive, like, you know, that like it was funny. That's a funny tweet. Stay out of broke folks business because we don't be in rich folks business. That's hilarious. hilarious. It was hilarious. But but the lottery, I didn't even play. I didn't even lie. I didn't even play. And I had numbers and all that. I just didn't because. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know. Did you know in some states they take up to 60% of your winnings? 60 percent like so if you thought no, you was getting that, that one point whatever i yeah. knew something was being taken away but i didn't know 60 60 you mean to tell me more than half yeah 60 percent plus plus Why? no 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 and that's that's states i'm not talking about what the government is what sam gonna take from you so <sighs> you getting excited okay you'd have had about 60 70 million and all that but then the people what would you would have took a lump sum or you would took it over 30 years and, and and that's how I'm looking at it. See, if I the one, I'm taking it over 30 years because you never know. You get all that money, you liable to go do something stupid. But if you can get uh, 60 million over 30 years, you can do something. Like that. You can put it in an annuity. You can give it to people. You can put it in a trust fund. You can allow it to grow. You can put it in the stocks. I mean, have a plan for it. Lightweight. If I the one, I'll go by Flint, Michigan. That's you know, here and there. But at the end of the day. Lottery smottery You know Most people who win it I don't even think Them people be winning I don't even think They get the money for real Like seriously I don't either I, I, that big know, ass I always shit. think It's something yeah, It's something fool about it You can win them Little hundred dollar scratch yeah. offs But you ain't finna get No 30 for them men You, you know, know what, what And that'd be fine with me Can I win 400 100 <laughs> On the scratch off You said get the scratch offs today Hey can I get 50 bucks Sound like you finna go To 7-Eleven I'm trying man. to tell you You're trying to get Some scratch offs <laughs> We on the clock, you know. We exactly. Got, we, we got two minutes, so we're gonna close out the show. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. So we could still tell our social media because we just gonna be a podcast. Right. So go ahead and hit them. You know, with the you know. Yes, you can find out. me on Facebook Tuesday every day, Instagram Tuesday period every day, and Sniz app. Oh yeah, and my Snapchat. Everything. Zam Tam Z A M M T A M Zam Tam. Do you have anything that's coming up that you're doing? You know what I'm saying with the people, because you know you're a people person and everything. No shows, no nothing. Well, no basically, uh, with one love, one house, I've been. Um, you, she doesn't know the information. Look, right now. Bro, you gotta cut all that out. All right, I'm but, sorry. <laughs> 
All right, so I'm just gonna do my I'm um, Seven Fig on Instagram and Twitter, and um, you know, Snizz App Chat and um, Sberry Senior on Facebook. And I'm still working with the Leadership Academy, so I'm doing that. We're going into the business aspect of it, so I'm doing that. And um, you know, you can check me out. You know, hit me with some questions or something like that, man. I feel free to ask. You know, same thing with um, Tuesday because Tuesday every day. We appreciate y'all listening to the show. This has been on the clock. We out.